Hello everyone. Today is Tuesday, so it's diaper and t-shirt day. And Emma is here wearing an honest diaper with a little onesie that's just tucked under. It's pretty warm today, so no need for any pants or socks or anything like that. So what I'm going to do today, I wanted to participate in the tag by Mia's Dolls and Fun. It's Confession of a Reborn Mom, True or False. So Dia's, oh my goodness, I'm saying Dia, Emma. Emma is already clean, so she just needs to be fed uh, some milk and I will continue. So question number one is... Have you ever co-slept with your reborn on at least one occasion? So my answer is yes. True. I have. And I basically have done this during uh, like nights when my husband is traveling. But I have noticed now for like the past few um, few times my daughter she sleeps in the bed with me now because what happens is she has her own room she's not allowed to sleep in the bedroom with mom and dad so anytime when dad is traveling that's an opportunity for her to sleep in my bedroom with me so and I have tried to sleep with uh, my babies in the bed while my daughter is here but I can tell you it doesn't work because my daughter insists on sleeping with one of the babies and I don't allow that so what I do is when she's in the bed then I just don't allow the babies to sleep in the bed with me so question number two is are you afraid to add up all the money spent on rebonds and accessories my answer is true yes I am very afraid I have estimated an amount between just the rebonds but I've never added up all my American Girl dolls my rebonds my accessories together I've never done that because it's a lot and I really don't want to know that number <laughs> but it does bring me comfort to know that my collecting has been within a three-year period so it's not like one lump sum you know but uh but yes my answer is true i am afraid to add it all up because it is a lot and i don't want to know that number so question number three giving a choice between social gatherings or staying at home with your rebounds if i have a choice my choice would be the social gatherings because i work at home I'm at home 24 seven. There's really nothing to do where I live. There's no recreation. There's no theater. There's no game room, bowling alley, no anything. So when there's an opportunity like a social gathering, then yeah, definitely I would, I would go. And like a month ago, there was a gathering for uh, my sister-in-law, she is a member in her church. She's one of the eldest, not eldest, but one of the older persons in the church. And the church had done a special for, you know, like the older ones. And they had like a banquet. Very formal, really nice. And, uh, and I really enjoyed it. You know, anytime that I can uh, get out the house, and dress up because I can tell you every day I don't even wear makeup every day because let me tell you it, it took me a while to adjust to the island life I mean I'm from the island but there's some island that's a bit more developed and more of a city type uh, atmosphere so but moving to the island where I'm at now you know it when I first moved here I would dress up every day and wear makeup and you know, 
everyone looked at me like, well, who is this girl? Like, where are you going? <laughs> you know, and it didn't dawn on me until I run out of makeup and I needed to purchase some and there was absolutely no place to buy any makeup. So I said, you know what? This doesn't make any sense. Unless I'm going like a special event that happens once in a while here or to church or something like that, then I will just save my makeup and make sure that I have it for when I really do need it. <laughs> yeah, so um, question number four. If you could go back in time before you knew the rebounds, uh, would you? Uh, no, I don't wish to go back in time. No, I'm very happy. Uh, the rebounds have brought me lots of pleasure. Lots of joy. I truly enjoy it. And no, I, 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 I definitely don't want to go back. I'm very happy where I'm at with the rebounds. Okay, so next question is number five. If my house was on fire, would I save my rebounds? Now, I have thought about this and I can tell you, uh, well, definitely the first person that would come to my mind, well, definitely my husband and my daughter, but my daughter especially, like my husband, he can defend for himself. Now I'm telling you, if something was to happen, he would be looking for both my daughter and myself. And I would also look for him, but my daughter, I can tell you, she would be the first person on my mind, you know, to make sure that she is safe and secure. And then uh, my husband, which in, like I said, in most cases, we would probably be doing the same thing at the same time. Both of us making sure that our little girl is fine. We don't have any animals, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, in terms of paperwork, my passport definitely passports now I don't mind if I lose driver's license and stuff like that but my passport definitely I would I would really hopefully if I can I would be trying to uh, secure or save my passports and next ladies I would love to tell you that if I can I would save the rebounds but let me tell you because we have a business and because we work from home, there is so much paperwork and files. Let me tell you, if I save one of these reborn babies and leave a file behind, my husband would kill me. So I could tell you, the only way I would save my reborns if I have a chance, I would have to know that all my all the paperwork like I said there's lots of files lots of files lots of files I would have to know that the files are all secured and if I can if I can save at least one I would try to if I can you know but like I said I doubt I would have that opportunity because there's so much other thing like there's just so much files to save I can tell you there is like a lot of files to save so I don't think I would probably even have the time because when there's a fire that happens really fast it's like it just in a minute or two it's out of control so I don't know but if I can after my family is secured after my important papers like my passports are secured and uh, and files if, if you know if I still have a you know time to save one then I would try my best next question number five if my okay that's it number six are you willing to lose a friendship because of your because of your hobby 
The answer is true. Yes, I'm willing to. A friend. Yes. Yeah. We have to respect that we're entitled to do what we enjoy doing. We don't owe anybody any explanation for what hobby we choose. And if somebody is in your life, whether they're a friend or not, they should respect that person as an adult. And especially if, especially if you're not asking or borrowing money from this friend just for the hobby, you know, then, oh yeah. But family, like my immediate family, like my sisters or my brother or, you know, then I can tell you, um, they would never stop me from doing what I enjoy, which is my hobby. But I would, I would separate the hobby from the relationship I have with my family, meaning that when they come over, Listen, I'm not going to hide my stuff. If you're visiting my house, then you accept the situation at my house. If I have my dolls displayed, if you don't want to see my dolls displayed, then don't come. I'll come to your house. I don't have a problem with that because I think that with family, you have to compromise. Even if you don't want to, even if it doesn't make sense to, you just have to. So my thing is, if you're my family and you don't get it, you don't get my interest in the hobby, then like i said don't come to my house i'll come to your house and well if you being my family don't want me to come over because of my hobby and you don't want to come over and visit me then i could tell you i am not going to discontinue my hobby because you disapprove no so i guess that's just going to be a tug of war in that sense but um but friendship see you later <laughs> Anyway, I think that's it for my questions. So that's it. So thank you all so much for watching. You have a great day. Bye-bye.